Hi everyone! Welcome back to Dreamy Writer's Tarot. So for today's video, we're going to ask the Spirit Guides, what does your boss think about you? Okay, so um, this is a message about his impression about you. So this may or may not be something that he tells you personally. So we'll do some tarot, some oracle cards, and then later on, we'll do some messages from the Guides card to see what is an advice for you regarding your situation at work, specifically with your um, manager or with your boss. So in front of us here, we have three piles to choose from. So we have pile one, which is this pink soldier. We have pile two, which is this powder blue soldier. Pile three, this royal blue soldier. Are these soldiers? Sorry, um, or their cards, rather their cards. Anyway. Okay, so pick out the pile that calls out to you the most, the one that you have a very strong connection or energy with. And then when you're get ready, let's get started with pile number one. Okay, so hi pile one, if you've chosen the pink guard, this reading is for you. So let's start with a couple of tarot cards. So we have here the first card, which is the magician card. Okay, and then the next card is the five of swords card. Okay, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, I think it will be better if we move it a little here. There you go, Magician. Five of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so pal number one, what does your boss think about you? Okay, uh, from what I'm seeing here, it feels as if, you know, this is actually more of what you feel about him. So it's like, you know, you feel like he demands, he or she demands way too much. You find your boss very demanding. Yet, at the same time, you feel like your boss doesn't trust you enough. It's like you do a lot of work. Okay? Um, you do things that are almost always impossible or very, very hard, very, very challenging to the point where it's almost unreasonable. Yet, you still feel like this person, this um, boss of yours doesn't trust you enough. Um, what I'm seeing here is that there's a gap between the two of you okay and then uh for some reasons either you or your boss uh you feel like you've been doing enough it's enough but then um on the other side of the equation there's still something negative that this boss of yours has to say about you okay so there's really an imbalance in terms of um or a gap uh well a stronger word or a better word is a gap there's a strong gap going on between you and your superior and then with the eight of metals card in reverse uh, what you're feeling is um despite all of the stress it may not be worth it or rather what i'm seeing is um in terms of your career if you are going to be managed by this person you feel like you won't really grow or you won't really expand okay so yes you may be doing a lot okay and um you i'm also getting this message that you feel like you know you don't know where you are in your work right now so um you feel like you don't know if you're doing things right if you're doing things wrong so there's a strong message of being stagnant at work okay so let's see here uh what are what does oracle cards have to say about your situation so we have your waterfall effortless and then we have iceberg submerged. Okay, so um, this may not come out as a good thing, pal number one. But yes, um, from these cards, what I'm seeing is that it feels as if your boss thinks that you know, um, you're not exerting enough effort with your work, or that's their feel. So it may or may not be true, but this is more of what your you know boss thinks. So uh, it feels like this person wants you to give in more effort. Okay, now, let me pull in a couple more tarot cards. Okay. Mm. Okay, so... Oh, okay, we have two here. Okay, we have five of cups. We have ace of cups. And then we have queen of swords. Mm -hmm, okay. I don't know, I'm getting this message that, you know, there are times when your boss takes over your job or you feel like your boss would prefer to do things uh, his or her way you know and then um this may be something that you both don't get along well with and what i'm seeing from the ace of cups in reverse is that your way his or her way sorry about the dog's bark okay anyway um his way 
your boss way of doing things and your way of doing things um isn't is different very very different from each other and with that that's sometimes where the conflict arises so um you know for you this would work for them this would work and then from then on uh, that's where some of your disagreements happen and with this one appearing i'm also seeing that you know um you don't have a good personal relationship with this person as well so uh yes work is work but afterwards it's as if you know you really don't like to see them or both of you don't really like to well that's a strong word um it's like you would like to avoid this person as much as possible you know and only transact or you know talk to them if really really needed so there's that message and then with the queen of swords card okay Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm also getting this message that, you know, this person, this, your boss, also would also like you to speak up a little or a little bit or be more honest um, with him. Yes, there's a strong message of honesty here. Your boss would like you to be more honest with him or with her. Okay, so um, there's a need, there's an advice to be more straightforward regarding this situation. Okay, so pretty much if, you know, you feel like everything is way too overwhelming, too demanding, you know. Uh, maybe this person is waiting for you to speak up for yourself and, you know, say something. But maybe that's uh, there, he or she's just waiting for you, you know, to initiate it. Now, let's pull in a couple more, sorry, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> let's pull in a couple more oracle cards. Oh, okay, one fell on the floor. I'm just going to get that. Okay. Rainbow. Blessings. Okay, ironically, uh, with this card, you know, what I'm saying is that, you know, despite everything, okay, the relationship that you have with this person, um, your boss still has good intentions for you, okay, so it may not be obvious, it may not be something that you feel, but, you know, um, this person still wants the best for you, so it could be that, uh, he or she's trying to bring out, um, you know, who you really are, or is trying to make you grow through the challenges or through the workload that he or she's giving you, so yeah, so whatever it is, um, in spite of everything, the blessings or blessings, so, you know, this person is, uh, or this card is signifying that, you know, there is still something good that will come out of this situation. Okay, so, um, these things will eventually be a good, um, training ground for you, okay? So, it's not really all that bad, okay? So, after this, there will be something good that will come out of it so pretty much like a rainbow you know even if it's raining a lot at the end of the day there's still going to be a rainbow shining for you guys now i'm going to pull in okay um the message from the guides card and then let's see what are the spirit guides message for you in terms of the situation okay so hold on to shuffle okay there you go oh we have patience is a virtue okay so um the hearts are asking you to be really really patient with this situation okay so just hold on file number one okay okay there you go that was fast okay <laughs> release toxic relationship so yeah i'm remembering the ace of cups in reverse here so Yes, patience is a virtue. So some of you may really need work right now. So hold on to it. There's still something good that can come out of it. But um, another advice is if you really, really cannot. Okay, so then, yes, by all means, it's okay to go. All right. So yes, if you really can't, then uh, it's okay. Go ahead. Uh, nothing bad will come out of it. But uh, with the tarot, with the cards, what I'm seeing is that, you know, we can still hold on to it a little bit while you know something good would still be there now i feel like i need to pull in one more tarot for you pal one okay all right that was quick okay three of cups okay so um what i'm seeing here is that you know okay so whenever you feel stressed you know don't uh forget Okay, to stay in touch with your friends okay so 
it's uh, one thing I've seen is that they may offer you an advice or they could offer you or refer you to a job. Okay, that will be a lot more suitable for you somewhere somewhere else that could make you happy. But whatever it is, so th- for this situation, seek the advice of your friends. Or it could also be about your friends at work, you know. So you really feel like things are so heavy, so difficult, you know. Um, you can always seek or go to the advice of your work friends. Okay. And one more oracle card for you, pal number one. Okay, hold on. There you go. Oh, <laughs> accept struggles as lessons. So yes, um, these things that are happening that are so not good, it will eventually come, you know, come out as just a lesson. And in the end, whether you're a guy or a girl, you will emerge as the queen of swords you know queen of intellect someone who's really sharp someone who's really strong someone who can handle everything basically okay so that's it for us pal number one i hope this video was able to help i hope you like it please like it subscribe and then if you well yeah sorry i'm a bit lost for words so i'm just gonna say bye bye and thank you (laughs) bye bye Okay, hi pal too. If you've chosen the powder blue card, this reading is for you. So we're going to start with the tarot. And then for the first one, we have the two of pentacles. And then we have the queen of wands in reverse. We also have the four of swords in reverse. And then we have the six of cups. Okay, so for this one... Pal number two, what does your boss think about you or what does this person want to say? Okay, um, ultimately what I'm seeing is that, you know, um, you feel like your boss is not being honest with you, okay? Well, what you feel, what I'm getting from you, pal, too, is that, you know, there's a two, take like a two of metals, there, you feel like it's, you know, there's a two-sided thing happening. So what I mean is, um, you know, it's like when this when your boss is in front of you, okay, you feel like he or she is nice, but okay, but behind your back, um, this person says a lot of things against you, okay. So it's like you feel like you know this person isn't someone that you can really trust to be sincere with, okay, with you, okay. So there, uh, you feel like this your boss or it it feels like your boss is too sided you know so there's a general message of insincerity is that a word or of being insincere <laughs> okay so you feel like you know what if you feel like you can't trust each other because there's a two-faced situation going on okay now um that's with the two of pentacles and then with the queen of wands in reverse so um this can be anyone in general the gender is not particular but for some of you i feel like this is a female boss okay and um with this being in the first i'm getting the message that communication is very very difficult for your superior so it's like whenever you try to open up to this person or whenever this person tries to open up to you um there's always some misunderstanding going on okay it's like you never really meet halfway through or if you do well because uh this person is the boss you know um it's still a bit unclear it's like you never are on the same page at the same time so there is a strong miscommunication message here pal two and then with the four of swords in the first and the six of cups in the first what i'm getting is that you know you've had a conflict with this person that this person doesn't seem to can seem to forget okay it's like you know um you well everyone has the misunderstandings at work but with this person with your boss in particular you feel as if this person never really forgot uh whatever wrong it is that you did in the past okay you, okay, you feel like this person is always holding on like, or this person is rather holding on to that mistake of yours. It's like they never really let it go. They never really move on. So they always have that in mind okay, towards you. Now, let's see here. What are the oracle cards related to this reading? So we have a rain purification. Okay, and then we have volcano volatility. Okay, so um, what I'm getting from these cards is that, you know, 
your boss okay still is trying okay your boss is really trying to um connect with you trying to patch things off but you know for some reason on another side of the equation um they just really seem to, you feel like you know this person just gets easily um i don't know it's a better term gets easily stressed out frustrated yes you feel like this person gets easily frustrated with you but you know in spite of it they're trying okay they're trying to fix your relationship together but um you know there's just this volatility that always seems to snap okay and for you on your part you feel like you don't know when this volcano would just erupt so suddenly it will just do sometimes even with the simplest of situations now i feel like i need to pull in a few more tarot cards for you pile two okay let's see here what are further oh okay okay we have here the hagman okay now uh with the hangman appearing in your reading okay so um okay so try to see the picture okay so this person is or this girl rather is trying to balance things out okay okay so this person is trying to balance things out so this person is trying but you know pretty much like the rain and volcano okay and they're having quite a difficult time you know to fix your relationship together okay so let's see here what are further advices oh you have another major arcana card okay you have the judgment card okay so eventually um this situation with your boss will you know end but it feels as if um the way that this would end is very um impactful okay in the sense that there's a possibility okay that hr may be involved in this situation or you know this could be something that happened in the past okay so it doesn't necessarily mean that uh whatever it is uh, that his or her current impression about isn't really final but you know there is there is that possibility that it will become final or uh, someone may intervene between the two of you okay one more card okay when we have here the seven of swords okay that um want to be honest that doesn't look um that good okay um i want to be honest i'm not going to scare you pal number two but that doesn't really this doesn't really look that good okay um it feels like this person is uh, doing something you know to get you either fired or to get you into you know a bad record so yes um i guess the balance um yeah the balance didn't really balance it out well it went on the other side and it feels like um you know the odds may not be that favorable for you in terms of you know dealing with this person so there's that warning okay now i'm going to pull in a couple more cards for you as an advice from the oracle okay it's a good move or strategy or movement with this connection dream time creation okay yeah so this may be an advice for you to you know um i feel like for some of you you guys are creative where you have um a plan to pursue something that is not related to your job okay it can be i'm getting a message of youtube channel so some of you wants to open a youtube channel or some of you wants to go into freelancing and then offer art video editing so uh it feels like this is something creative more than creating we have a movement yes so one advice is you know this may be a time for you to finally pursue your passions and one i want to also add that you know these are two major kind of cards so maybe um you are you know you're leaving this company you're resigning from this company may actually be a sign or destined so that you can go on and pursue your other interests your other passions now let's get one more message from the oracle card for you guys okay 
Okay, we have here set your intentions. So, um, what is what I'm getting from this message ultimately is that you know, if you do plan to leave, okay, uh, make sure that the exit is clean, is good, you know. So, uh, if you really want to leave, there's an advice that you know it is okay for you to leave, okay. But still, make sure that um you don't you do it in a very um polite way okay so make sure that if you leave you're planning to leave make sure that you don't cause further conflict with your boss and that you know everything is clear between you at least civil everything is civil before you leave um the company and then one more oh okay yes we have here have an attitude of gratitude so yes um currently your situation with your boss may not be great but um, it's still asking you that, you know, at the end of the day, um, still be thankful, okay? Well, one, for the opportunity of uh, being able to work in the company or with this person because, um, yes, uh, work the workplace is a really very stressful environment, a very stressful, situ um, yes, place. But still, you know, um, on the other side of the coin, it actually helps us grow into to become a better, stronger person. So there's a lot to learn in terms of handling different people. And it doesn't just have uh, to, something to do with the job itself. So um, learning how to deal with people within the workplace is actually a good exercise or a good practice in learning how to deal with people every, anywhere else. Okay, so uh, well, that's one thing to be grateful for, the learnings, the opportunities. And, you know, along the way, even if we do set up our own business, there will be difficult people uh, they're everywhere. They, uh, you will see them, encounter them. And, you know, this is a good training ground for you to know uh, how to handle or what to do in these kinds of situations. So, sorry, <laughs> it's shaky. Anyway, so yeah, there's always something good to be thankful about. Of course, the opportunity to be, the opportunity to be employed to learn and of course um aside from your boss there are still um you know i believe there's still some good friends that you've made along the way in your current work so there's that there's a lot to be thankful for with your um last job still okay so that's it for us pile number two i hope you like this video and then if you do please subscribe to my channel i'll be posting new content like this every week so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye Hi pile four if sorry pile three. There's only three piles. Anyway, hi pile four if you've chosen the royal blue card. There you go. This reading is for you. So we'll start with tarot, then a couple of oracle cards, and then um a message regarding the advice for your situation at work. So for the first card, we have here the King of Swords, and then we also have the Empress card in reverse, and then we have the Four of Pentacles okay hmm okay so for you pal number two i'm saying what i'm saying is that you know um your relationship with your superior is actually um well okay it's good so um what i'm seeing is there's more of a challenge or the stress is coming out more from the company itself or from the employment so with the king of swords coming as your first card regarding your boss so what i'm seeing is that you know this person is something that is well respected in the organization so um i'm also getting the message that this person is predominantly male okay and is someone that people looked up to in the office Okay, so this is someone that is respected, feared, loved, but at the same time is also very, very good as a mentor. So um, they're not really harsh, but they're really straightforward. Okay, so they really tell you what to, uh, what you need to improve on. Okay, and um, yes, it's more straightforward. It's not that they're not considerate about your feelings, but um, part of how they want you to grow is for you to be able to handle um criticisms very well and to handle stressful situations so uh this is actually a very good mentor although a little bit um intimidating or rather very intimidating very scary yet um you know someone who you will be able to know or you know yeah learn a lot from grow a lot from when two 
anyway <laughs> and then with the empress card in reverse so yes from what i'm seeing is that the stress is coming in more from the company itself so i'm getting the message of long hours but very low pay okay so it's like one of the best things or one of the best reasons why you stay in your current work is because of this person okay so uh you have a good mentor you see this person is a very good mentor okay and then with the four of pentacles um yes yeah, okay so yes um the compensation the benefits are okay sometimes um <laughs> below than what you're currently working uh when your current workload rather but uh this one being for being a balance it states that you know um you see this still as a good opportunity because you know um even if the pay isn't really the best it's still good because you get to learn a lot you get to grow a lot okay so this person your boss seems to balance out that stress for you um you admire them because they know how to handle it very well so there's a message also of admiration uh with this person then we have your milky way perspective okay yes so um what i'm also seeing pretty much like this one is that you know this boss really wants you to grow okay so uh whatever perspective that you have that may be perceived by other people as immature is you know corrected guided or disciplined yes disciplined by this person okay so uh, this person is always asking you to think outside the box um to you know look at things from another person's point of view another perspective okay so this person is really challenging you to grow yes that's the main message this person wants you to grow is really pushing you to grow further now let's pull in one more oracle card for you palki Mm -hmm. sorry be a little bit sorry be a little bit patient with me okay there you go Whoa. okay th that's a lot but i only need one and then five came out i only need one hold on pal three okay you have extra parts mountain strength and then dance celebrate yes so another message that i'm getting at is even though this boss is you know intimidating a bit scary at times this person still wants you to enjoy um your workplace okay so despite of everything this person still wants you to feel like you know this is a safe place to work with this is a happy place to work with so there's that um father leaders that parent dish parent dish apparently <laughs> There's that um, parent touch, a touch of a parent. There you go. Uh, with your relationship with your boss. And I'm going to pull in a couple more cards. So this may be about your boss or your career. But overall, you know, this is good. So let's see what will be the future relationship, what your future relationship with your boss be like. Okay, we have five of cups. Okay, so this person really wants you to grow and be able to work on your own be more independent be someone who can work with lesser supervision okay sorry one more card for you pal no two two more tarot cards okay the world card in refers okay so yeah um this person sees um a lot of potential in you okay and secretly they're hoping that you know you would stay and grow more but they understand that um you will be eventually looking for a career so they're not going to stop you when that happens but you know personally they would prefer that you you know work with them stay with them and then we have here the knight of pentacles yes so um with this card what i'm seeing is that you know eventually um your bosses well your boss is the king of swords and then you know what will come out from you is a knight of pentacles so this is actually a good card uh in terms of a career reading because of, it shows that eventually you know when you do decide to leave or when you do decide to take on a higher um job level within your work 
Okay, it's saying that you will be ready for it. Okay, you will be well trained for the next step in your career. Okay, um, this person will really groom you well. This person will really help you well. You know, uh, night is about movement. Okay, so whether you decide to stay or whether you decide to choose or to pursue your job in another company, in another workplace, um, this boss will really help you, will really mentor you to become the best version of yourself. This person will really boost your career. So yes, definitely. Uh, you, have, you are in a good place. Okay, you are uh, with a good boss, to be honest. Okay, so I'm just going to pull in a couple more cards. The table is shaking. Because, I don't know. I don't think the table is shaking. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm gonna I promise I'll shuffle. It's just, I, I just take forever to shuffle cards. Okay. Now, we have here, understand your body. So, I'm getting the message that, you know, for some of you, okay, you're getting sick with your job. Okay, so it's saying that, you know, prioritize your health among all else. Okay, it's not coming. Okay. Okay, there you go. Another card. Kindness counts. So, yes. Yeah, your boss is scary, intimidating, but, you know, kind. Wants you, he wants you to think that, you know, he is kind. He doesn't want you to be scared of him all of the time. Okay, and the last card we have, worry is a wasted emotion. So, yes, you are in good hands. And um, I'm getting the message that for this one, it's more of um, you not going places with your career so with the knight of pentacles appearing it's say that you know you will get to where you want to be so don't worry about it um just you know just listen to this person just take care of yourself and also just be kind and considerate and you know don't worry everything will go well okay there's something for you to celebrate um later on in life Okay, so that's it for us, pal number three. I hope you like this video. And then if you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new content like this every week. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!